Gordon McDonald shared the following story. A pair of grandparents had just finished time with their grandson at Chuck E. Cheese. As grandmother put him into his car seat, she said, now be sure to say thank you to your grandpa. But there was no response from her grandson. So she said it again. Did you hear me? Be sure to say thank you to grandpa. Again, no response. At which point grandpa said, I enjoy doing nice things with you, especially when you say thank you. But still, more silence. Grandma was now getting irritated and said, Did you hear us? Are you ignoring us? The grandson finally spoke and said, I'm thankful, I just don't want to say it. <laughs> Thanks to Gard Gordon McDonald for that great story. But see, that's the thing about gratitude. It's to be expressed out loud. Yet so often our gratitude to God is silenced. Sometimes our silence comes from our own stubborn resistance, pride, or arrogance. Other times it can be guilt or shame that silences our praise. Still other times we may be afraid to express it out of fear. In this current culture, many of us are afraid to express our gratitude to Jesus beyond the walls of our churches or our homes. Gratitude to our Savior is something that is to be expressed out loud and it starts with our public recognition and praise of all He has done. Consider this. Jesus hasn't been ashamed of you even in your worst moments. Hebrews 2.11 explains, So now Jesus and the ones He makes holy have the same Father. Jesus is not ashamed to call them His brothers and sisters. Consider also that out loud gratitude creates a redeeming opportunity for those who hear it and believe. Romans 1.16 states, For I am not ashamed of this good news about Jesus. It is the power of God at work saving everyone who believes. The entire scriptures call us to be out loud with our gratitude to Jesus. We hear it in the words of 1 Chronicles 16.8, Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim His greatness. Let the whole world know what He has done. So this Thanksgiving is an incredible opportunity to give thanks out loud and let the world know how great is our God. Just think of how much more of an opportunity we have to do this with social media compared to the original hearers of this verse. So let's make our praise and gratitude go viral so that the world may know our God saves. Follow Jesus, be changed by Jesus, and in your commitment to His mission, don't keep your gratitude quiet this year. Share it out loud. Let us pray. Oh Lord, we do give you great thanks and praise, for you are a great God. The works of your hands are amazing, and the gifts you have poured out into our lives, even when we took them for granted, your faithfulness is worthy to be praised and recognized and celebrated. And this Thanksgiving, we ask that you would help us, give us lips and tongues and mouths that shout out your praises that the whole world may know of your greatness and what you have done. We thank you most for the gift that you gave to us in your son, Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen.